Now let's have some insight on cache memory. Here you will find the formula very similar to main memory. Cache is expensive and to normalize the overall cost, cache is usually maintained small. For our example, let's take 32 byte cache and it is byte addressable. So memory addresses point to individual bytes. Since the data transfer is in terms of blocks, let's draw the diagram in terms of block. Here the block size is 8 bytes. And the number of blocks is cache size by block size that is 32 by 8 that becomes 4 blocks. And to avoid confusion with main memory, let's not call them blocks, let's call these as lines. So 4 lines. So this is line 0, then line 1, line 2 and line 3. So these are the 4 lines. Here one important thing to note, in main memory we are calling them as blocks and cache we are calling them as lines and size of the block is equal to the, the size of the line. So the block is 8 bytes, the line also will be 8 bytes, something like that. Now going back to the previous slide, the cache memory size is given as 32 bytes, so I can write as CS is 32 bytes that is 2 power 5 so we need 5 bits to uniquely identify the data items in the cache let's call this address bits as cache address bits so cache address bits is 5 bits then here block size is 8 bytes which is 2 power 3 so we need 3 bits for block offset Sometimes it is called as line offset because line and blocks are same. So line offset or block offset both are same. Next the number of lines we got as 4 that is 2 power 2 lines. So we need 2 bits for indexing. So the cache index is 2 bits. So if we generalize them from the cache size we get the cache address bits. So cache size can be written as 2 power cache address bits and block size is 2 power block offset and from the number of lines we get the cache index so number of lines is cache size by block size which is 2 power cache index and if you take this as cache address first few bits will be the block offset rest of the bits are cache index very similar to main memory formula for this you can give the title as cache formula ok let's try one question given a system has a cache memory of 1 MB and the line size is 1 KB find the number of bits required to address the cache and the number of cache lines here the number of bits to address the cache is nothing but they are asking how many bits are required for cache addressing CA. So let's start with that. The cache size is 1 MB. So here M refers to mega which is 2 power 20. So this is 2 power 20 bytes. Therefore we need 20 bits for cache address. So CA is 20 bits. Now to find the number of lines, number of lines is cache size by block size so it is 1 MB by 1 KB 1 MB is 2 power 20 and 1 KB is 2 power 10 this is 2 power 20 minus 10 that's 2 power 10 lines let's try one more question a byte addressable system has 1 GB main memory and 256 KB cache and 32 byte block find the number of main memory blocks and bits required to index the cache. Alright, let's write the given data. Main memory size is 1 GB. G is giga that is 2 power 30. So this is 2 power 30 bytes and block size is 32 bytes that is 2 power 5 bytes. Number of blocks is memory size by block size. That is 2 power 30 by 2 power 5 that becomes 2 power 25 
blocks so this is done now number of bits required to index the cache indexing the cache the nothing but cache index so for this we need the cache size cache size is 256 kb 256 is to power 8 k is kilo 2 power 10 so together it is 2 power 18 bytes here we need to find the index so cache index we get it as number of lines equal to power cache index so first let's find the number of lines then we'll go for cache indexing so number of lines is cache size by block size that is 2 power 18 by 2 power 5 that is 2 power 13 lines so 13 bits are needed for cache indexing so cache index 13 bits that's the second answer.